I am Dr. Bill Schlosser, and I will take you through a brief journey of the key strategies and some practical techniques I have deployed very effectively using the Blackboard Learn platform. I have applied these techniques in my online and live classes with remarkable success. I have attempted to make my teaching style as personalized as the circumstances and my creativity have allowed me. I begin every class by introducing myself to students with a video. Orientation skill comes as a second critical step for students to get prepared for my class. So I then transition to give each class a welcome video to guide them through the portal to show how to easier navigate the site and what to expect for their successful completion of class assignments. To engage students in a personal way, I ask them for the name they want to be called which is routed through a super simple five-point assignment in Blackboard. I make a record of their names to address them each time I grade their work. Next, I ask them to share with me, in writing, where they come from, where they are going academically, and what they expect from this class. This one is a ten-point assignment. I reference these details as I score assignments and tasks to personalize the experience for each student. I use it to spur thoughts connected with their hometown or a work experience they have. We connect with each other. Now we get closer to the contents of the course. Here, I want to establish some contextual anchor words to study. Each economics class has term definitions, and I let students select, first come, first served, the term they will define and discuss with example. They return in a day to respond to at least five other student definitions to improve the record. New examples are always welcome. Everyone is required to start a response by addressing the other students by name. It makes the anonymous threads vanish. The quality of discourse improves substantially when it becomes intentionally personalized. I make commitment to create chapter-based YouTube videos with digitally mastered audio recorded from scripts I write. These PDF scripts are linked to the video on the Blackboard site and used to populate closed captioning on YouTube. I embed links to other topic-specific videos vetted for each chapter. As any sincere commitment, all this takes time and dedication. From the first week of classes, Term definitions are due by Wednesday night. Responses to at least five others are due by Friday night. About quizzes, I allow my students to take three attempts at each quiz from a randomly selected pool of questions to be completed by Sunday night. The highest score is promoted to the gradebook. This relates to another strategy. Practice solidifies learning. Two exams are given each class each containing 50 multiple choice and 5 essay questions. I place a pool of 400 questions and allow students to take the practice exam as many times as they want. Do it 8 times? You'll see 95% of the questions on the actual exam. I had some students take the practice exam over 20 times. Huh. They made perfect scores on the exam. More importantly, they learned the materials while understanding the content. Here comes the final accomplishment my students were able to master and reproduce. It comes as a challenge and my students take it in a very positive way. All students in 200 and higher classes are assigned a term report using style sheets to make the table of contents, list of figures, references cited, cross-references, acronyms used, and as a final step, make a 10-minute PowerPoint presentation. They write a script and record it to digitally mastered audio, integrate it all into a PowerPoint show, and export it into a YouTube video. Steps on how to make it happen are all demonstrated on YouTube videos I have created for students. This is a rigorously practiced strategy, very critical in terms of personal engagement. I hold 30-minute scheduled appointments as requested. I am booked solid for loads of office time daily. All work is done on their computers, Windows, Mac, Linux. Another strategy I have installed in my teaching style is to stay abreast with the available technology. My students learn new skills to last a lifetime. 
When a student is not on the local campus, I link with them using Blackboard's Collaborate Ultra or GoToMeeting for screen sharing discussions where I can see their screen and we communicate in real time. I have virtually connected with students in cities an hour from campus, from four states away, and even with students located nations away, like Barcelona, Spain. It was a bit more challenging because her computer was a Mac in Spanish. But we did it, and her video was recorded in English, including subtitles in Catalan and English. Yeah, she got it. So did other international students in my classes speaking Spanish, German, French, Arabic, and Chinese. Subtitles in two languages. They did it. Those are unforgettable and meaningful exchanges with distances erased. Those videos were reviewed and commented on by other students in the class. It is part of their experience Bonjour, mon nom and est Guillaume their score in the class. Mon but during this transition, I will be informed about the energy hydraulic and the externalities that have been We live today in a society very demanding on the plan energy. Puisque c'est grâce à la création d'énergie que nous pouvons vivre dans le confort et l'avancement technologique que nous connaissons. Auparavant, chaque entreprise était coûteuse en temps, que ce soit sur le plan de la communication, de la construction ou du mouvement dans l'espace. Mais le développement de l'énergie a tout changé. Tout a commencé au XVIIIe siècle avec le développement du charbon et continue avec le développement d'autres ressources. The online student connection portal, in my case Blackboard Learn, has been a serious challenge for me to master, but the rewards are astounding. This has stimulated my creativity and eventually has allowed me to connect with live class and online class students in a unique way. I posted about five messages each week to each class as announcements, class tasks, plus hundreds of assignment scores and individual student assignment comments, each starting as I address them by name and signed it as Dr. Bill. I took full advantage of issuing online quizzes so I did not have to sacrifice scarce live class time and to make the online experience a part of the weekly schedule. That is the only way for me to build their trust in the sincerity of my teaching and the value of education they paid for. The students come to learn, and I come to teach them and learn from them as well. <laughs> It is always a two-way street, isn't it?